Hey guys, welcome to today's class. Have fun. Chemical equilibrium. Equilibrium is a state of a system where there is no observable change in the property of the system with respect to time. Equilibrium system may be static or dynamic. Example of static equilibrium is the balance seesaw. Why the saturated solution is an example of what dynamic equilibrium. Dynamic equilibrium can occur during a physical change or a chemical change that is reversible. Dynamic equilibrium involving a physical change is referred to as physical equilibrium. Why that involving a chemical change is known as chemical equilibrium. In a chemical equilibrium, the reactants undergo a change in composition to form the product, which in turn are reconverted to the original reactants at the same time. A dynamic equilibrium is a state where the rate of the forward reaction is equal to the rate of the reverse reaction. Equilibrium in reversible reaction. Let's consider this reaction. When A reacts with B, it gives us product C plus D. The reaction will keep going forming C and D until A and B runs out. This is what we call and what a reversible reaction or a reaction that goes to completion. Irreversible reaction are reaction that only go in one direction from reactant to product and cannot reach a state of what equilibrium. For example, when magnesium reacts with HCl, it gives us magnesium chloride plus what hydrogen gas. Some reactions, however, are reversible, meaning the reaction can go backward in which product react to form what reactant. So, from our equation now, we have A plus B, we have two arrows. One is going forward, while the other is going what? backward then we have c plus d as our product a reversible reaction is in dynamic what equilibrium when both the forward and the backward reaction are occurring at the same rate thereby producing no net change in the concentration of the reactant or the product a reversible reaction also proceeds in both directions under suitable words condition. This equilibrium can only be established in a sealed system, that means a closed system, where no chemical can enter or leave the system. Such system is called what a closed system. The equilibrium state remains unless if it is what disturb at the equilibrium state the free change the free energy change is equal to what zero let's look at some reversible example of reversible reaction number one eating of hydrated copper two tetraoso surfaces crystal number two eating ammonium chloride crystal and so on now move to equilibrium constant. The equilibrium constant K. You can use K, you can use Q, but I'm using K here is a mathematical relationship that shows how the concentration of the product varies with the concentration of the reactant. There are some rules about writing equilibrium constant expression that you must learn rules that you must learn when you're about writing what equilibrium constant expression number one 
concentration of product are multiplied on the top of the expression. Concentration of the reactants are multiplied together on the bottom of the expression. Number two, coefficient in the equation become the exponent in the equilibrium expression. Number three, leave out solid and liquid as their concentration does not change in the reaction. The equilibrium law states that there is a fixed relationship at a given temperature between the molar concentration of the products and the reactants in the equilibrium mixture. For a reaction of this form, Ma reacts with Mb. They are both gas. Reversible reaction, the forward arrow and the backward arrow, we give us product of Xc plus Y. D. Kc, which means what? Concentration equilibrium constants. Now from our rules. Number one rule says that concentration of products are multiplied on the top of the expression. So our product is Cd. So Cd is at the top of the what expression. Why concentration of the reactants are multiplied together on the bottom? The bottom we have a b that means concentration equilibrium constant is equal to product over reactants move to the second rule it says coefficient in the equation now what is the coefficient in the equation we have m and n and we have x and y will become what exponents that is c we carry x y d exponent of what y over a we have m then b n this is our what concentration equilibrium constant for this what reaction very high value of k implies that the reaction goes virtually to completion very small value of kc implies that the reaction does not go far in favor of what the product if the reactant and the product are gaseous a reaction may be simply derived using what partial pressure we have partial pressure kp a kp a p is partial pressure can see the result are kp kp your pc x pd y p a m p b m kp and kc are not equal but are related kc and kp we have unit of mole per dmq and millimeter mercury for example let's look at this example for the decomposition reaction of dinitrogen tetraoxide into nitrogen for oxide our kc we give us what the we said what product over what reactant why our kp2 we give us what product over what reactant if the value of k is greater than one the products in the reaction are favored if the value of k is less than one the reactant is what favored if k is equal to one neither reactant nor product are favored lachantin's principle this principle explains chemical equilibrium. States that when a system that is in equilibrium is disturbed, the equilibrium adjusts itself in just a way to cancel out the effect 
of the change. This principle is of the view that whenever a system is in equilibrium, is affected by increase or decrease in one of the factors keeping the system in equilibrium. The other factor will change their value so as to restore the equilibrium. The factors affecting chemical equilibrium are temperature, concentration, pressure of the reactants and products, catalyst, etc. Number one, effect of concentration. Effect of concentration. What happens when there is change in concentration in a chemical equilibrium? Number one, an increase in concentration of the reactant will favor the forward reaction. Why decrease in concentration of the reactant we favor the backward reaction. In this reaction, if more nitrogen and oxygen are introduced into the equilibrium system, the balance will be upset. That is, the equilibrium position will shift to the right favoring what the forward reaction. This results in a proportional increase in the concentration of the word product and so the equilibrium constant remain unchanged. In a similar way to if the product form is constantly removed from the system, the equilibrium position will change to produce more of the product. Thus, neutralizing the constant. Number two, effect of temperature. Effect of temperature. For endothermic reaction, increasing the temperature will favor the forward reaction. Why for endothermic reaction, increasing the temperature will forward the backward reaction. Effect of pressure. An increase in pressure will favor forward reaction. Why decrease in pressure favor backward reaction and applies only toward gaseous reaction. Apply only toward gaseous reaction. The last one, effect of catalyst. Catalyst has no effect on the position of a system at equilibrium. Catalysts have no effect on the position of a system at what equilibrium. I hope the class was interesting. If you have questions, please drop them in the comment section or send us an email. We would love to help you further. See you in the next class.